Hey there, this is one up India coming with another basics tutorial where we just pimp up our uh, pause screen. So basically you just got your scene here and you want to pause and then you're pressing it and then you got this pretty sweet looking uh, background effect which is just made with a few mouse clicks if we want to fast forward it. So pretty uh, quick spoiler from my side, basically black rectangle blur effect and then underwater with chromatic aberration that's pretty much it but if you want to see the whole process then why not stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course Alrighty, so this is basically our setup we have a uh, a controller which is just object set pause and off we just drag that thing into the room and then we have a few things first of all we just need one variable which has been toggling off and on so if we have pause false or true and then we are pressing uh, our control key or for example whatever key you like so for example uh, up and then you just pick one of those guys here and then we just do three things which are kind of important so first of all we want to Draw, draw a big rectangle uh, on everything which is then black and then a little bit transparent so just to uh, well defocus and focus on the things which are important so not the dark ones but the lighter ones then second of all have two fx layers so one is for blurring and one is my underwater most abused fx layer which i basically love you can do so many great things then you create a little bit of a distortion plus a chromatic aberration effect so let's go into the first part which is the easiest so we just have our draw events and then for example once the pause is on here the rest you can completely forget this is just drawing some dummy buttons and some dummy text and then we are just drawing a rectangle we're drawing a rectangle come on copy paste my friend and then we're just drawing a black rectangle of course this would be a little bit too much because now everything is uh, just black at the in the background so therefore we just go draw set alpha and then we are drawing uh, the well the this rectangle this specific one just with an opacity of well in quotations uh, 60 percent so let's see how that looks like no no we first <laughs> before we do that we need of course to have a system so basically if we are uh, pressing our control key we flip our pause off and on so how does that look like basically we're just pressing is the pause off so we have no pause then we set it to on and then the other case like hey we already are pause it as true then we set it to false again and then therefore we can toggle between off and on so let's see how that looks like alrighty so we are just pressing control and then boom everything is darker and defocused and this could be uh, good enough for most games but let's pimp it up a little bit because why not so once again pretty sweet 60% draw black rectangle very easy to copy so what do we do next thing well let's go and create two fx layers one we call the blur and the one the chromatic aberration which is technically a little uh, our underwater effect but let's make this easier to understand so the first thing we just select our large blur and then ooh, as for defocusing is already pretty good but let's make this a little bit less oppressing so just so you can see and then for example yep and off and on and as you can see there is a slight blur which we want to have now let's go with a second big shenanigan which is my underwater uh, most abused fx layer i love it and here tons of things we need to change so first of all we got those glints so here we go under glint color and set it to black and they're gone great then do we want to add a color no let's go with black do we want to tint it with a color no we don't want so we are basically disabling tons of things which we don't need and then what we're going to do is ramp up the chromatic aberration so let's go on, on i don't know seven and you see like whoa what's happening well this is chromatic aberration where the colors are basically separated into rgb values so therefore you see this pretty sweet effect this is just well what chromatic aberration is you just have one color and then it's kind of splitting in its three 
um, distinct colors on which it is being drawn but this is of course a little bit too heavy on the eyes and therefore we're going to change a few values so let's say hey uh, that's too much so we just go here of course play around with the values the way you like they are more or less arbitrary and then uh, this of course way too much as you can see this looks a little bit like too much of a melting uh, effect of course if you like it then keep it so we just uh, reduce those here and now we got uh, let's go with two so we got some chromatic abrasion some distortion but not too much because we don't want to have it and that is pretty much it and therefore the last thing which we need to do is first of all well disable them because at the start of the game we shouldn't be having those effects and then we need to do one thing just toggle their visibility off and on so how do we do that kind of easy layer set visible and then we need the name of it so here this one and this one and then for example once we are paused we set it to true so we set we do during runtime and then uh, the other thing for example if we are not paused then we set this once again to zero. So where's the tooltip, layer, name, and then the, if it's true or not. Of course, it would be sweet if you could go in between values. So for example, this would be not visible, but alpha, that doesn't exist in game mag, at least for now. So we have to do uh, what we have else. We could actually make a pretty sweet fade in between those two states, but this is for now not well it's possible but it's definitely more difficult than the regular thing so let's check this out all right so let's check it out again and yeah looking pretty sweet so once again first of all we got uh, the black rectangle then some blurring and then some distortion plus the chromatic aberration effect which is looking pretty good so i like how the way that looks it's giving definitely a little bit more spice to the game and then once again if you want to have it a little bit more or less just play around with the numbers but that's the gist of it just three very 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 easy steps or things which you need to do easy peasy stuff in game boom and toggle it off and on Already, hopefully you uh, <laughs> enjoyed this because that was actually pretty sweet stuff and see you in the next one. Have a good one. One up indie.